Hello viewers and welcome to another episode for today. I'm Willin Abba and I'm here to give you detailed information about what is happening in the world at large. Heading to the news of today we see IPOP, Eastern Security Network members behind my drug trafficking travels, disgraced Super Cup, Abba Kiari. Now the news in details. Kiari said the outlawed IPOP and his security wing, Eastern Security Network, we are after him due to the onslaught launched against them in the southeast. The embattled deputy commissioner of police, Abba Kiari, has claimed that members of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP, and Eastern Security Network are behind his travels. Kiari made this claim when he appeared before a probe panel led by Joseph, a deputy inspector general of police, DIG, at the force headquarters Abuja Daily Trust reports. In a report submitted by the panel to the Inspector General of Police, Usman Baba, which was in turn forwarded to the Police Service Commission, PSC, Kiari said the outlawed IPOP and its security wing, Eastern Security Network, we are after him due to the onslaught launched against them in the Southeast. Kiari, who did not deny violating social media rules of the Nigerian Police Force, NPF, was berated by the panel for the fact that the officer had been warned against the same practice previously. It is a campaign to smear his reputation by members of the IPOP stroke Eastern Security Network who vowed to destroy him due to his onslaught against them in the Southeast. The embattled Super Cup was quoted to have said in the reports. But the panel, which faulted his claim, saying it is watery, ordered his demotion from the rank of Deputy Commissioner of Police to the Assistant Commissioner of Police. The United States Attorney Office, Central District of California, had issued an arrest warrant against Kiari for his alleged links to the suspected foster Raymond Abbas, alias Hush Poppy, who is standing trial for various offenses that include internet fraud and money laundering. Hush Poppy has since pleaded guilty to the charges and, if convicted, risks a 20-year jail term three years supervision upon completion of jail term and monetary restitution to the tune of $500,000 or more. The court document also outlined a dispute among members of the Hush Puppy conspiracy, which allegedly promoted him to, to arrange to have an individual identified as co-conspirator Ken Lee Vicent jailed in Nigeria by Kiari. According to the affidavit, Kiari is a highly decorated deputy commissioner of Nigerian police force who is alleged to have arranged for Vincent to be arrested and jailed at Abbas' behest and then sent Abbas photographs of Vincent after his arrest. Kiari also allegedly sent Abbas' bank account details for an account into which Abbas could deposit payment for Vincent's arrest and imprisonment. All right, my people, that is it for the news. Well, the evil ones won't go unpunished. Even though he is being demoted, it's not yet enough for us as Nigerians. We want him to be put in prison to suffer what he did. He should be taught a real lesson so that in his next word, he won't even think of fraudulent activities. Talk more of even thinking of engaging himself among those doing it. For crying out loud, he's supposed to be punished thoroughly because this man is not just a common man. He's not even a common citizen. He's a deputy commissioner of police. Imagine. They are the people that are supposed to be ensuring peace in this country. They are among the people that are supposed to be stopping all this drug trafficking in this country. But can you imagine he's among those doing it? So I think he should be taught a real lesson so that in his next world, he won't ever think of doing such a thing, even though he's not a police officer, so that his fellow colleagues will see it. And even those involved in one way or the other will stop it. But if he is set free, he will still continue because what happened in Hush Puppy issue, if that one is not enough for him to stop all the fraudulent activities, all the bad things he's doing, and he still have to involve in cocaine business without even caring about what is happening, he can't even go out. His blood, his fraudulent activity is already flowing in his blood. And for those doing it and are not yet caught, they are going to be caught as well. So I think they should stop whatever bad behavior they are doing. For crying out loud, these are police officers. But look at them, they were engaging in all these fraudulent activities. Policemen will arrest you, collect everything in your body, it doesn't even concern him. And they still call themselves security officers, even though we know very well that they are good ones. But the good ones are very rare, very, very rare. The evil and bad ones have already occupied everywhere that we can't even find the good ones anymore. 
While my people, I also think he should be interrogated because <laughs> only God knows who he will call out of his mouth that are involved in the same business with him. <clears throat> we just pray our leaders, our top leaders are not involved because they, they can chuck their hand in every evil thing because of money, because they're already doing it in the seat there. They don't even care about the masses. The only thing they care about is the money. Well, my people, that is that for this. Heading to the other news, we see 2023 presidency, Buhari picks IM as preferred choice, gives reasons. Now the news in details. An Israel presidential aspirant, Ahmed Buhari, has endorsed former Senate President Ayim Pius Ayim for the presidency in 2023. Buhari said Ayim is the perfect person to lead Nigeria in 2023, considering his records in the Red Chamber. He noted that Ayim was able to stabilize the National Assembly when he was the Senate President. Buhari spoke on Arise TV's morning show while advocating for a Nigerian president of Southeast Extraction. He noted that the Southeast remains the only region in the country that is yet to produce a president since 1999. Southeast is the only zone in the entire South that has not produced the president of Nigeria since the advent of democracy in 1999. But among all of them that have indicated interest in a presidency from the Southeast, if given the opportunity to choose, Ayim stands out. Most political stakeholders have been agitating for the Southeast to produce the country's next president. Alright my people, that is it for the news. Well, see who is trying to choose the next president for this country. <laughs> Someone that have covered himself with corruption and wickedness. <laughs> Someone that doesn't even care about the masses. Same person that allowed bandit to keep on killing the youths, keep on killing the masses of this country. Just hear who is speaking. Anyway, sir, we don't need your help. You should go and rest. Immediately you're leaving your office. Please don't put mouth in anything that involves politics again. Just stay on your own because you're causing more confusion in this country. Well, we the citizens of this country know who we are about to vote for already. So you should stop bringing out your candidates because we don't care. Anyways, both PDP and APC, we ain't doing any of you. We need a fresh party with a young candidate. Someone that is young and vibrant. That's what we need. We don't need all these old people anymore. People that only care about themselves and their families. Selfish people. We don't want them anymore to lead this country. We need competent hands. Well, it seems the politicians in this country are even confused. Today is this, tomorrow is this one, next tomorrow is another person. Ah, you guys should be coming down. Calm down and let we, the citizens, know what we are doing. Please don't confuse us. Confusing us from knowing who to choose. Biko, we need peace. We don't need someone that will come and continue from where you stop. Even though it's from the southeast, we need competent youth. We don't need all these old people anymore. People that kept on revolving power within themselves for years now. For their selfish reasons we don't do them anymore anyways my people that is that for today we don't know your thoughts and opinion we'd we'll love you to share it with us at the comment section below in case you haven't subscribed we'd we'll love you to do so please click on the subscribe button below and click on the bell by the side so that whenever we drop our content you'll be the first person to get notified thanks for staying tuned to this very last moment and god bless you